I was having this thought yesterday that I really wanted to share just because I feel like maybe someone else can find it helpful, but I was thinking about the fact that by just learning one programming language, it could unlock so many opportunities as far as career paths and opportunities being a transferable skill across the board when it comes to the tech industry. Like I kind of know what I want to do for a career path and my ultimate goal and why I'm learning JavaScript. But me being me, I love to learn about different tech roles and what it entails and what it takes to get into these different roles. And so one of the main questions that I always ask when I'm Googling things or I'm looking things up is, what are the main languages used in this role? And the running theme seems to be JavaScript and Python, and especially Python because that's kind of the do-all language. That's kind of the language that it can be used to do pretty much anything. Now, I personally love and am on the creative developer path, but I have looked into cloud computing before, and I just came across the other day a role that is called SRE, and I believe that stands for Site Reliability Engineer. And both of those roles take a language called Python. Those are gonna be your main used languages in those two roles. And then you have JavaScript, like I said, where there is creative development, full stack, front end, back end, mobile game development, and the list just goes on. So this let me know one thing, and that is when I am in those modes of second guessing myself and thinking if I should be on the career path that I'm on, if I should continue to enhance my front end development skills and then adding on to the skill set by adding back in to become full stack, that the time is not wasted either way because I'm still doing the act of learning JavaScript. So to build upon that, let's just say that I didn't want to be a front end developer or go ahead with being a full stack developer, whatever my next role is. I still haven't wasted my time by learning a very, very valuable skill, which is JavaScript, and it can be used and applied across different platforms. Maybe I can become a custom template builder for Squarespace because they do use JavaScript, or I can be a solo dev that does freelancing projects or indie developer who builds my own apps. The time is not wasted because I still created a skill set for myself and follow through on learning a very popular, strong language. My point is, is focus on what you're learning. If you have started with Python and you don't have a clear vision on exactly what you want to do with it, you don't know exactly what you ultimately want to do as your career, but you know you want to learn how to code and have that skill set and have that in your tool belt of skills that you have going forward, then keep learning because it's okay to just learn the language and do your research on different roles as you go. Either way, you're going to have to learn Python. There's no different types of Python. You might have to apply them differently or you might be coding more or less in different roles or maybe not even use it at all. But if you kind of understand what I'm saying is that you would have had to have learned it anyway. So instead of wasting the time on not learning because you don't have a clear vision of your actual path, learn the language anyway, do the hard part anyway, and then you've already done that. Then you can go out there and be like, okay, well, I know this language. How can I apply it? And I feel like that's just so much better use of your time. A personal example would be my career path, which is to become a creative developer or developer advocate one day. And both of those roles will require some type of programming knowledge. So JavaScript will be very useful in both of these roles. Creative development, it would literally be needed. And so I've also had thoughts of looking into cloud computing and getting more into the cloud and learning more about what that is, where that requires more Python. But instead of telling myself like, okay, I need to just jump ship. And if I wanted to go into cloud competing, I need to stop what I'm doing over here and learn Python. I have decided that it doesn't really make sense for me to do that because I'm already deep into my learning for the JavaScript. And so learning about that is still something that I'm going to continue to do. I'm going to finish out the course that I'm taking, do all of those things. And I can decide to then once I'm done with that and I'm comfortable with JavaScript, go in and start a learning path for Python. So that's actually something that I plan to do is to start learning Python after I'm finished with the boot camp that I'm taking where I'm going to get really comfortable and knowledgeable about JavaScript. I'll go in and add Python to my tool belt. Instead of trying to do too many things at one time, I would rather do it that way. And Python is just a great language. I want to learn it personally just because of AI and machine learning and getting into those things because, I mean, obvious times. I just really want to add that to my skill set. So that would be a personal example of how I'm not going to waste time thinking about, do I want to go into cloud computing, developer advocate, this or that. If I have a clear vision of what I want to do already, but I have a thought of maybe there's a possibility to go into this other career path, staying on the path that I'm on is still going to be beneficial and it's still going to be an effective way of going about the things that I want to do. Hopefully this all makes sense. Another cool thing that I've noticed, and of course I've always kind of known this, is that by learning one programming language, you will pick up on another one a little bit quicker and easier just because you kind of just need to know the syntax. But the actual 
idea of programming is already there for you because you've already learned one. So going into the next one is a little bit quicker and easier. So I realized I came across a code snippet for Python the other day. And because I've been learning so much JavaScript and I've been getting deeper into that knowledge, I realized that I could actually read the code snippet for Python. I know Python is typically easier to read, but honestly, if I didn't know the JavaScript that I've been learning right now, I would not have been able to really fully make sense of what I was looking at. So I know that once I learn JavaScript, I will just have to learn, okay, Python, I already kind of know how to go about the programming itself, but what is the syntax? So focusing more on the syntax. Now I could be wrong, but this is just based off my observation of, like I said, seeing that code snippet saying, okay, it seems to be kind of like the same thing in a sense is just different syntax and different ways of going about writing the actual code. All in all, I just wanted to get on here and say, try not to get distracted by all the different career paths, all the different choices that you can take. What language should you start with? Those type of things, because there are so many different things out there. It is so overwhelming. I know it can be really hard to kind of focus in, but I do truly feel like once you come across that thing, you'll know that that's what you want to be doing and what you want to be focusing on. So if you know you want to code right now, but you don't know exactly where to start or where you ultimately want to end up, I would highly suggest just maybe looking up the most popular languages that are out right now, which tend to be Python, JavaScript, amongst other languages. But for the sake of this video, we'll just keep it to those two. And if you really, really don't know what you want to do, focus on Python. Python is so useful in so many different ways. And it is one of those, like I said, do all languages. So I personally would probably recommend just starting with Python and just learning that. And then you can easily jump into other things once you get a good grip on that. But don't don't focus on trying to learn too much at one time. You don't have to learn JavaScript and Python at one time. And if you are going to do that, I suggest not learning more than like two to three languages at a time. I, I just personally wouldn't do that. I don't know what anyone else would say. I can't tell you what to do. I don't know what everybody, you know, everybody is just capable of different things. Me personally, I would focus on one, maybe two, but start with those ones that are going to be useful across many different career paths and industries. If you're like me and you really love the visual side of things, you really love to see all the pieces come together and code something and see it immediately happen on your screen, that's why I love front end. That's why I focus on that. If that's something that interests you, then maybe start with JavaScript because that's going to be more of your visual language, in my opinion, where you can apply that to things that are a little bit more visual, like I said, like front end development, game development, things like that. So just don't think about it too hard. Like I said, if you don't know at all, go with Python. I don't know. And if you do kind of have an inkling, then choose the one that makes the most sense for that inkling that you have. My last piece of advice based on personal experience is going to be that if you've already started a course or a boot camp or any resource that you're using right now to learn a programming language, but you're kind of like me where you like to explore and see what is out there, see all the different tech roles, and you're kind of like, well, maybe I want to do this or that. Continue on with the course that you're taking right now. Continue learning whatever programming language you've already started with, because like I said, you'd be surprised how much easier and quicker you might learn the next one. And so finish out the one that you've already started, get comfortable with it, get really good at it, understand it, because those concepts and principles that you had to take to learn those different languages that are the language that you're learning right now is kind of going to apply across the board. So continue out with whatever you're doing, if it makes sense. And then you can pick up another language later on down the line. So that's it. I just wanted to get that out of my head and into the world in case anyone else could find that useful. If you're like me and you kind of know what you want to do, but you love to explore different opportunities and different things sound interesting to you, just remember to continue on the path that you're on. Don't be hard on yourself if you feel like there's too many options, because like I said, just learning one programming language and one having just the skill set of programming and coding in general can unlock so many opportunities and you'd be surprised like down the line just learning one thing that you might fall into something you didn't even think that you would fall into but you have the skill set to do it so continue on your path don't hop around don't take all these different courses just because you want to you know, learn this one day and learn this the next because I've wasted a lot of time doing that as well and restarting courses and restarting paths. Just stick to the course. Keep your head focused. It's okay to explore, but just keep that in the back of your mind is that, okay, I like these five roles, but it looks like Python or JavaScript could be used in all five roles. So let me just continue on. And either way, I'll have the skill set that it takes to do whichever one I pick in the long run. So... 
Again, hopefully that made sense. Hopefully you found this useful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here and I will see you in the next one.